Mike. Check. I think we live. I haven't got my mic on, but hey ho. Uh, bear with me a second while I pop out my chat windows. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hi. Uh, I can't pronounce your name, but hello, welcome. How's it going? Do 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 Hmm. <laughs> well. There it is. Right, my friends. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, yeah, I know it's a bit of a late repair, a uh, late stream. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, my stream dropped out. Lovely. Um, yeah, good morning, everyone. I know, uh, I know it's a bit of a weird late stream, but uh, I was reboiling an SSD, and um, I was reboiling it for this PS5 that I've got in front of me here, as you can, or behind me here. As you can see, it's crashing randomly. Uh, I was working on this on stream last week. Uh, well, was it Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday, yeah. Uh, uh, could you please message my number, please? Um, what do you mean, Nat? I'm not sure, mate. I'm not sure what you mean there. Um, yeah, so... I was working on this on, th on Tuesday night, and I replaced the SSD controller. Um, basically, it was randomly crashing and that didn't fix it. I replaced the encoder as well and that didn't fix it. But as you can see, it keeps crashing and resetting the animation. Eventually, it will load up. It'll probably actually load up this time. But when I connect a controller up, it won't actually play a game. Let me just connect up the antennas to this because I've only just turned it on. Um... But I needed some footage for this. I was reboarding it, but I was on a Discord voice chat. Um, and that messaged with OBS. So, basically, I got persuaded. My arm got twisted into actually uh, working on this on stream instead. I know. So, yeah, here we are. <laughs> so, here we are. Let's get a USB so I can connect up a controller. Uh, I will get to chat in a minute. So I just thought I'd hit live. I was going to do it just on Twitch, but then I thought, you know what, I might as well do it on YouTube as well. Why not? And for some reason, it's not syncing a controller now. Why are you not syncing a controller, Mr. Console? Uh, good morning, not the one. Uh, good morning, everyone. Feel folded under pressure again. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, indeed. Right, now it's just synced. Let's see if I can get past it. There we go. All right, yeah, so that's got past the animation now. So now it will actually... Now it'll actually boot and work. Uh, is that right is right and left is left? Why is that backwards? Um, right, that's better. 
Uh, yeah. That's better. Uh, is he? No, right... Oh, I don't know. Is that right in the way... The right way... The right way for you guys? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, so as you probably saw on the startup with that then, it was just randomly crashing on the um, on the intro, the welcome screen, and it wouldn't boot up. And when I actually, when I actually go to, oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'll go away. Um, yeah, so when I actually load a game, I haven't got any games installed on here because I've tried reinstalling the software after I um, after I replaced the SSD controller and it didn't help it. So there's no games on here at the minute. But when it when it when it actually boots a game up, which I will download a game later on, but um, when it boots a game up, it just crashes with an error code. And if I reboot this now. It'll do the same again. So it's not a heat thing. It's not a thermal thing. Um, it's just very, very odd. New version. No, don't want to know. So if I power this off now. So turn off. Just turn off. Don't update. Uh, so it's actually a new update has been released today. 7.20. Um, so I'm not going to update it, it's not really an issue. Evie Pear, Steve B, hello. You meant an unpatched switch. Uh, what, you mean you want to buy one or...? Yeah, controller needs updates. Right, so that's turned off. If I turn that back on... Go back to the source. But now watch this. So now it's in 4K. You can tell it's in 4K because the writing's gone smaller. But look at that. I'm not touching it, by the way. But now it'll go through that cycle again. It's really weird. So, what I've done is for the past hour, I've been sat here. That camera. I've been sat here reballing a full SSD, all six. Oh, it's actually gone through. That that was actually a little bit quicker. No, it's not. It's crashed again, look, see? Um, yeah, I've sat there and I've reballed a chip in advance. I was going to film the repair, but I wasn't going to film the reballing because it's just too long. So, yeah, we're ready to go. But I promised I was going to do this at least on a video, so I'm going to do it. Your PS5 is stuck at this point too. Oh, cool. So hopefully this can help you out then. So what I've already done to this on the last stream is I've already replaced the SSD controller, which is the uh, CXD 9062GG. So I've already replaced that, and I've already replaced the encoder. Neither of those fix the issue. So the only things that really are left to replace are going to be the actual SSD itself, uh, well, I don't know if it is going to be that. Um, it's going to be either the SSD itself, the safe bridge, which is doubtful, or the RAM. And then if, if it's none of them, then it's got to be the APU. So, one way or the other, by the end of the week, we're going to find out definitively what is causing this issue, because I get a lot of people ask me about this particular issue, so... Yeah, probably not going to get many viewers, it's 1am, probably not going to be many people around, but I don't care, I thought I'd film it, because um, I need to make a video on it, ideally. CMI, welcome. Yeah, so welcome everyone. Um, probably not going to be interacting too much. 
I'll try and read chat, but I've got six chips to replace, and I've got to do them, um, well, pretty much one by one, because I need to test it after every point, and make sure that it still turns on and boots. This could fuck the entire console up. Shall I test it after every point, or shall I just go full ham and replace the lot? It's up to you guys, I'll leave it up to you. So yeah, there's flux all over the board because... Oh, stop it OBS. Fucking internet. Virgin Media really need to fix this issue. So we know at which point it may fail. Text after each step. One at a time, one at a time, each one. Yeah, I think I think let's do all, let's do them one at a time. But what I need to do before I actually do that, um, I'm going to need to mark these chips in case I do need to put this SSD back on. So what I've done with these ones is I've marked them all. So you can see that T1, T2, that one says T3, and then you got B4, B5, B6. So basically T indicates the APU side. Uh, no, sorry, T indicates the other side, so top of the board when it's in the housing, and B indicates um, the bottom of the board where the APU is. So, yeah, I've marked the chips so I know which order to put them on, on the board. Um, whether that makes a difference, I don't know. I genuinely don't have a clue whether it makes a difference or not. But, yeah. This is just a learning curve. It could fuck the entire board up, it could break it, but it doesn't matter because, um, well, number one, the board is knackered anyway, and number two, I bought these boards primarily for learning and also for stripping down for parts for the store. So, yeah, if you're watching this back of the video, I am live streaming this, so don't forget to check out consolefix.co.uk for all of your repair needs and if you need to buy any parts and supplies you can buy them from me as well give me your money learning cost money and or boards yeah but I won't actually lose money on these because I mean well I can sell the parts I think you know there's loads of different components so I'll pull off these for sale absolutely stacks I don't lose money on these boards if I can't fix them uh, I actually lose money if I do fix them, technically. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, right, so let's mark these chips first. So, I'm going to use my grinding pen. Uh, I'll mark these as a... One, a two, and an a three. You will see them when it comes off when you uh, take it off as well. Um, these ones I'll mark as B four B five and B six. That won't hurt the chips by the way, because I'm literally just grinding away at the surface. See, did Nat ma did ma Nat message back? Don't think he did. Uh, Nat, was he looking to buy one or get one repaired, mate? Yeah, you will see this when it's off, when it's uh, in plain view. Like you can visibly see which chip is which by doing that. But I'm literally just grinding away at the surface. It's not going to hurt the chip. I did the same with these ones before I reballed them. These are all pre-balled, ready to go. Uh, 
So let's go for A1 first, shall we? But before I do that, I'm going to grab myself a smoke. So yeah, I'm just chilling tonight. Um, I've just been sat, well, I've basically been sat on Discord just messing around and... Uh, Messing around and chatting away on Discord, and those guys persuaded me to jump on a stream. So, hope you're all doing good. Why do you not have milk and coffee? I just don't like it, mate. I just don't like milk and coffee. It's not that I don't like milk, I just don't like milk and coffee. It's disgusting. So, I have sugar, but no milk. I'm growing the code of TM into them. <laughs> Could do, couldn't I? So this is probably going to be an hour stream. It's not going to be a late one. Well, in terms of like, relative to how long I normally stream. Relative to how long I normally stream. Right, where the flux is my flux? Where did I put it? I've just had you. Where have you gone? Oh, Mr. Flux, oh, Mr. Flux, where the flux have you gone? I do not know, so I'll grab some more. I'll give you all earworms. Ha! To be fair, the flux tube that I had was nearly empty anyway. Right. I want my old table. No, table. <laughs> nah, not late for me. Right, 440 degrees Celsius. Let's grab some tweezers. Yeah, so I'll do number one first. Well, I'm gonna have to reinstall this after every single one. It won't accept it. It won't accept um, the software. So I'm going to have to reinstall it after every chip. So that means six different reinstallations on this, potentially, until we find. Well, until it either don't work or until we find the culprit chip. Hey, Ellis, thank you, dude. Appreciate you, mate. Oh, I appreciate you, buddy. There we go. Go. I haven't got notifications enabled, by the way, because um, it was all set to recording mode, which is just blank, basically. So, no notifications on screen at the minute, unfortunately. Alright, so I'll just wick this away, replace it with leaded solder and then wick it away. You've got to be careful because these pads are not the strongest.
Shall we see if it boots without this chip? Nah, it's not going to boot. It's not going to boot without that chip. Because Ellis is a legend, mate. Right, so we're on the APU side. So we're going to go for B4 on this uh, bunch of chips. Not that it makes... I don't think it's going to make any difference because we're literally just installing one chip at a time. What chip is that? B4, yeah, that's the one. So, yeah. Not that it really makes a difference in terms of this one because we're installing them all at the same, uh, all separately, but... Yeah, so we've got to rebuild the chip anyway. Uh, we've got to rebuild the... Uh, the SSD once we've done it anyway. Uh, so let's get that lined up. Good stuff. There we go. Hey, Ellis. Gifted a sub on Twitch as well. Thank you, mate. You're a legend. It does help me keep streaming, mate. Yes, indeed. It definitely does. Right, yeah, so that was B4. So that was the right one for that particular thing. But, well, it doesn't really make a difference. Right. Here we go. Let's boot her up. Ow. It's hot. Ow. Imagine that. The board's hot after I've done some rework. But yeah, we're just jumping straight in the deep end here. Uh, that's another one of the replacement chips. Just jumping in the deep end. And by the way, if this does work, I do sell these chips on the store. Ha, <laughs> pre -balled. But they ain't cheap. Probably going to reduce the price, though, because I've got loads of them, so... Bang. Right, that's booting up. We really should be on uh, overhead cam, shouldn't we? Uh, face cam. So as we can see. Even though it's not going to actually boot. We'll go to the PlayStation logo, but then... Once it realises that some of the data is missing, it's going to jump into safe mode. I'm just screwing the heatsink down. So yeah, it's blue light of death at the minute because it needs to find the data. Need to move the chip up. No, they've got place for uh, BJ-153s on these as well. It's weird. Uh, yeah, so that's just gone solid blue light of death, uh, sorry, pulsing blue light of death, but, like I said, that's because of the, um, SSD not matching, 
But yeah, that the reason that you got some blank pads there is because there's um what do you call it? Um They've got room to put a BGA one hundred fifty three on there. Okay, safe mode. There you go, white light, safe mode. Ugly camp. So, I'm just going to hook up a controller. I also need the firmware as well, which I've got on USB already. There we go. Something went wrong. Your console needs to be reset to factory defaults. Actually, we might not need to. Um, we might not need to use the USB. Could be wrong there. Realise that after I said it. It's all good, mate. Right, okay, yeah, so reset PS5. Yeah, we do need the USB. So 7.01, which is on the, file, on the USB at the minute. So I'm going to let that reinstall. Do 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 Your uncle wants to buy a PS5. <laughs> there we go. Let's let that run through. I've already converted this board to digital, by the way. I'm going to let that run, but I'm going to take the uh, old red cam. I'm going to take the face cam off so I can finish my smoke. Singles are sung while we wait. You don't want to go through that kind of punishment, mate. You really don't. So, yeah, the fact that I've got to do this up to six times is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but never mind. Yeah, Cody's doing good, thanks, mate. Thank you for asking. Hey, RB King. How's it going, Paul? I'm doing good, thanks, Taylor. How are you, mate? I still didn't see that reply. Let's see if I can get it. Uh... I didn't get one, that's why. Fair enough. Good to hear that. Uh, so, uh, Taylor, sorry. Good to hear, mate. Right, ugly camp. So that's just booting back in. Um, going to the next stage of the uh, reinstallation. There we go. So, I'm just let that run through. I've just gone live, John. I'm just doing a SSD swap, to be honest. Travis did it indeed. The cup don't lie. The cup don't lie. Travis broke this PS5. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on. Yep, don't forget to hit the like. Do I, do I sleep at all? No. <laughs> nope. Where is Travis? Uh, Travis is just busy, mate. Um, he's got a new job, so I spoke to him yesterday. He's good. He's doing well. Got a new job, and uh, yeah, he's a good guy. He's working hard. Right. How's it looking? Nope, that was a jitter. Oh, hang on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nearly had me there. It nearly got it. It was so close. It's still doing the same thing. 
so close to getting to the end of that animation. But look at that as well. Look, the fact that it, I don't know if that's normal, but the fact that it carried on playing the animation when I shut it down, it's... I don't know whether it's meant to do that, but hey-ho. On to number two. On to number two. Would swapping the BIOS chip from a digital to a dashboard work the same as flashing the chip? You can swap from a disk to digital, but you can't swap from digital to disk. Uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, you can swap from a digital board, so you can turn a disk edition into a digital edition, but you can't turn a disk edi digital edition into a disk edition. Um, and yes, it would. So if you take one from a donor board, or I do sell, if you haven't got any, I do sell um, BIOS chips from digital edition donor boards. You can tell when they're a digital edition because I've got these connectors removed, that one and that one. I actually put these back on here after I did the video because I was doing some research on trying to go the other way. But yeah, you can take one from a digital board and put it straight onto a disc edition and it will update like a disc edition. You can also take one if you've got the matching daughter board. So if you've got a complete unit, complete disc edition unit that you can't fix, you can take the BIOS chip from that board and the disk drive, put the connectors on. Uh, so transfer the connectors from the disk edition to the digital edition. Sorry, not no, sorry, not put the connectors on. So you can put you can put that BIOS chip plus the disk drive onto another disk edition board, and it'll go through the update. But it won't play a disk once it goes through the update. It will accept the update, but it won't play a disk. Hope that made sense. Wish I had a camera rolling when I was unloading the van at the new house. Why is that, mate? Yeah, hopefully that made sense. But yeah, if you take a, uh, a disk drive and the matching BIOS chip from one disk edition board and put it on another disk edition board, it will accept an update because it can see the disk drive. And I have verified that. That's the entire reason why I put that on there. I'm going to be doing a follow-up video on it, but... Yeah, that's the entire reason I put those connectors back on, because I wanted to confirm and make sure. But yeah, confirmed, it does indeed accept the update, it just won't play a disc afterwards, unfortunately. But never mind. Right, on to number two. Should I do two chips? Should I replace two chips or just one? Yeah, it enables updates, you just don't accept the um, disk. I'm sure eventually an exploit will come out to the point where you can actually remarry it as well. I'm sure eventually that will be a thing. Right, so there's A2. Removed. One. Okay. I'll do one. Why not? I don't mind either way. I mean, I'm going to be streaming until the end of this and then... I'm going to hand over to Computer Booter. By the way, I was contemplating this afternoon. I had a, a little brainwave. It hurt my head a bit, but I had a little brainwave, and I thought, should we start a weekly podcast? Like me, and then like get some regular other text to do it with me and then get some random guests on every now and again.
<coughs> I don't know who I'd get to be on the podcast as a regular person. But I was contemplating it. I'm actually going to see um, another repair shop tomorrow. Uh, someone ordered something off eBay on me, from me from a local repair shop. So I said, well, I'm going to be in Wolverhampton City Centre tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow lunchtime. So do you want me to drop you off in person? And when I get there, I'm going to discuss because they, they, they're run by an insurance company. So I'm going to I'm going to speak to them and see if they'll be willing to set up some sort of a business to business contract. You never know. You never know. Right. I really don't think it makes a blind bit of difference on these where, uh, which order they're going. Not when you're replacing them one at a time anyway. Um, I am going to do another test where I replace all six at once as well. Uh, I don't count, Gordy. I don't count, mate. Looks smaller. Um, no, it's because the these chips that I'm putting on, the, the original chips off the PS5 are BGA 132, um, whereas they do have space for BGA 153, so they've got, like... Um, or 152, whatever the head it is, I don't know, however many pads it is, but, yeah, they've got space for a bigger chip, I don't know whether Sony did that in case of, um, you know, not having, uh, not being able to find the chips and stuff, I don't know, but, they have got space for a different chip, I think it's BJ153, talking about workflow, products and methods, etc, yeah, you can only count to 10, ha, <laughs> Right, test number two of six. I just want to see if we actually manage to fix it. You know, because it, it'll, it'll give us another answer, like, is it the SSD when it does this random crashing? Because we don't know. No one's ever tried it. So, that's just something, something else that I'm hoping to figure out. So I'm not just sitting idly by, I'm always doing research on these things. Always trying to figure out new methods for repair. I'd say it's just to help you guys, but it's not. It's for me, so... <laughs> no, I'm only messing. Um, no, I am, I am always sitting around, messing around with these. I'm working on band consoles at the minute. Take questions from subs. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could do that, but, you know, I take questions anyway, so, um, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to use that as an excuse just to get viewers and stuff. Right. Damn it, I need to boot it into safe mode, don't I? Uh, let's just see if it boots up. Uh, it's not going to, but let's just see if it does, just for the sheets and giggles. I've got to make money. Nah, I'm only messing, mate. I'm just I'm just literally doing this just to try and figure out more answers. Yeah, this isn't going to boot up, but, you know, it was worth a shot. I was looking, I was looking for that screwdriver a bit earlier so I could complete my set. 
Yeah, it's not going to boot up. Let's boot it into safe mode. Let's kill the power. Research and dev. Yeah, that's it, mate. Just research and development. Uh, which is why I buy so many boards and stuff as well. Right, booting into safe mode now. Connect the controller, blah, blah, blah. Uh, might help if I plugged in the antennas. Restart. Just plugging in the other antenna. Just plug in the USB. Reset. If it's, your sister's phone got blacklisted, uh, so you took the SIM card from slot one to slot two and it works. <laughs> yeah, it's because it do. It's because it blacklisted that IMEI, I suppose. That that kind of makes sense. Right. Well, that's resetting. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, future, mate. Future. Came from the scrap. No, I clue what's wrong with it. Not much of a deterrent. No, not really, mate. How's it going, Rob? Been a while, mate. Been a while. Do 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 Damn, that was quick. Okay, that was weird. That 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 installed real quick that time. A little bit odd. Hmm. Right, just booting back up. And display, you bastard. I said display. Oh, that was just stage two, never mind. Um, yeah, I wonder why that installed so quick then. How much do you reckon it costs them to make a PS5? I think they lose money. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they. I'm sure they build them at a loss. I about scalping SIM card for eSIMs, and you have to buy your own number for life. Uh, that's kind of good in a way. Um, yeah, pros and cons, I suppose, on that. They lose money on the consoles, but make the money on licensing. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure they I'm pretty sure they're operating as a loss, the same as Microsoft are. Almost certain of it. Uh, but that's just that's just the hardware game when it comes to consoles, I suppose. Right, that should be reinstalled now. Okay, are you going to boot up this time? No, nope, that was a jitter. Yep, yeah. had a jitter, I saw it. Had a very slight jitter. Uh, to be honest, I've got a feeling this isn't the RAM at all. I've got, uh, sorry, the SSD at all. I've got a feeling it's something to do with the RAM. We might end up having to replace eight RAM chips tomorrow. But you know what though? 
it's working better than it did. With them two RAM chips replaced, it, it's it's actually booting up. Sorry, them two SSD chips replaced, it's booting up better than it, than it did. Let's go full ham. Let's replace all four. Let's replace these last four. Because to be honest, I don't want to be on all night. I want to... I haven't eaten yet either. Um... So I don't want to be online all night, so I'm going to replace all the last four of these. Um, I know I can replace one at a time, so this is going to prove whether we can replace all the SSDs as well. Because if we can, if we can replace it as an entire set, I'm going to start selling them in, set, in sets of six. It takes me about an hour and a half to reball all six. But I have, I have got a, got my eyes on a new stencil for them. You'll jinx it. Nah, let's go for it. We'll know them, won't we? Or shall I do two? I'll do two. Um, I'll do, I'll do this last one A3, and then I'll do one more on the other side. So I'll do two, and then I'll do another two afterwards. That's just flux on there, by the way. It's not liquid. Yeah, let's do two, and then I'll do two on the other side. Get a microwave in your workroom. <laughs> Getting good with them balls, oh yeah. Yeah, so can you see these extra pads here? On each side. It'll be the last chip you change. Well, yeah, because if it's if it was the last if it wasn't the last chip I changed, if it was one before that, then technically I'm just wasting time by changing extra chips. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to be I don't want to be on this all night. I wasn't intending on streaming tonight. Um, plus I have got school runs in the morning like Tuesday mornings I just suffer it but yeah I've actually got quite a bit of stuff to do tomorrow so I don't really want to spend all night on it if I can help it no worries Taylor thanks for checking me out checking it out mate thanks for stopping by buddy really appreciate it mate uh, have a good night yeah, a lot of people have got work in the morning as well, and you know, for some of the people that are in the UK, it's it's quite late, and I don't want to keep them. So, but obviously, this is anticipated as well because I was working on it on Tuesday. So, yeah, it's one of them. Right, so I'll just get rid of that. Right, we'll just grab another chip. I am actually putting these on in order. But it's not necessary. Just melt this flux a little bit. I'm not actually flowing the chip here, I'm just melting the flux. Just so I can move the chip freely.
Cheers, Dan. No worries, the Americans are there. <laughs> no work till Sunday. Nice. Streaming over the weekend. I'll be streaming tomorrow, yeah. Normal stream tomorrow. Right, let's replace one more on this side. It's just quicker doing it this way. I know we're not going to know exactly which chip it was that was causing it, but does that really matter? Because it's going to be different on everyone's machine, so you're going to have to just pretty much guess. Uh, but if it is this what causes it, you know, if it is actually the SSD, um, you'd still technically need to buy, only buy one or two, because, well, if you're capable of reboarding them, yourself, that is, then technically you'd only need to buy one or two, because... You know, if it didn't fix your issue, you just replace, you just put that one back, right, like onto another part of the board, I guess. Um, but then again, or you just take it off and redo it, like put the original back on if it didn't fix it. Problem is, is knowing which one it is, that's the issue that people are going to have. I suppose if I find out. Like let's say for example it's the last two, one of the last two, then I'll put them on another board and I'll take diode readings of all of the surrounding components and try and make comparisons um, and try and figure out a way to figure out exactly what chip it is. Could they all need changing? Potentially, yeah. You know, it could it could be that they're suffering from some sort of you know, bit rot or something like that, I don't know. Um, there is the potential that all six could need replacing. We don't know. Right, so... Let's manoeuvre that into place. We'll do this one, and then if you still don't fix it, then we've got two more that we can replace. I suppose you might need to end up doing this with an oscilloscope if you wanted to figure out exactly which one it was. You know, maybe try and get a baseline reading off uh, a good board as it's booting up, and then try and make comparisons with an oscilloscope. Because you can visualise it then as well. Right, so we've replaced two more. Let's go for attempt number three. Whoops. Wrong camera. I hope I got that right then. Let me just double check. Yeah, I got the orientation right. I was just making sure. All right. Attempt number three. Wrong screen. Of course it is. Can you even buy these chips new? Not as far as I know. Last time I looked, you couldn't. Uh, I do sell them on my store. Like, if people want to buy these chips, I will reboil them and sell them to people. Right, 
Right, I may as well boot straight into safe mode. Because I know it's not going to boot up, because obviously some of the data is missing. But yeah, as far as I know, you cannot buy these chips new. Not at the minute. You will be able to, but at the minute, I don't think so. Right, where's my plate? <coughs> You'd never know the TD TBW, yeah. Yep, this is a problem. You, you, there's just so many variables. Uh, I actually think this fault is most likely RAM. If the SSD data were cooked, it wouldn't get through loading the OS. But if the RAM was faulty, it may cycle the chips it uses on every boot. Yeah, I'm, to be honest, I thought RAM myself. You know, from the get go, I thought RAM. But um, yeah, it's just. It's difficult to say, isn't it? You know, we, we're not going to know for sure unless we try everything. And it's quicker to replace the SSD than it is to replace the RAM. Well, actually, uh, with the reinstallations, probably not. All right, let's boot it into safe mode. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, we've gone too far. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Uh, it wouldn't necessarily fail the update if it was RAM. Depends what address on the RAM it's using. PS5 killer. It's alright, we could just reboot one chip and put it back. Feel a reflow coming on. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm going to reflow both these chips, and if not, then I'll put those. I'll put the last chip I replaced back. Um, so the last chip I replaced was on the back here. Um, this one here. Um, this is why I've marked them. So I'll just put one back. Uh, so I'll put B4 back, which is this chip here. Reball that, put it back. Try and boot it again. So it's not the end of the world. Might have just not had enough flux there. <coughs> yeah, it's not the end of the world if it doesn't start up with two chips being changed at once. So I'll try it with a reflow just to make sure the chips have sat down properly. I'll, re I'll reflow that one. Let that settle before I mess any more. So let's let it solidify the solder joints before I even put it down because I don't want to squeeze the chip or anything like that. And then there's this one which I've just put on. Uh, let's go under the scope for this because I can see a little bit of a wonky resistor. Uh, no, it's not actually, it's fine. So I just want to make sure the chip's sat down properly. I thought that resistor was wonky. Yeah, this one didn't sit down properly. I 
don't think that one sat down properly. It didn't quite feel right. I really appreciate that Edis, mate, genuinely. Yeah, I don't think this one quite sat down right. Uh, let's try that. Thing is, you just never know with BGA. Even if it springs back and works absolutely fine, you just never know. Right, let's not worry about the uh, heat sink for now. Let's just try it. The first time I nudged that chip, then it didn't spring straight back. No, it's still dead. Right, well, I'm going to put that chip back on. I'm going to reball that quickly and put that back on. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's try that then, shall we? It won't take long to reball one chip. Uh, that from Halo Infinite, welcome. Yeah, it'll take like five minutes to read all this. There we go. Right, let me just get some IPA. I might reflow the SSD controller at the same time because there is a chance that it could have floated the SSD controller because that is lead free, uh, that is uh, leaded solder on the SSD controller. So I could reflow that before I actually put this chip on. But while I've got this chip here now, I'm going to reball it. It's not going to take long, a couple of minutes. Just add a little bit of flux. Tad of flux. And then I'm going to grab my stencil. Are we in focus there? Yes, we are. So, BGA 132. I haven't got a jig for this particular chip, so. You've already got Lady Solder on that chip. Uh, which chip, mate? What happened to that disc edition, digital, motherboard, good morning bro, good luck for this board. That is this one mate, the one that I've converted, that is this one. <coughs> it's the one that I'm working on. I'm just doing research on it. Uh, 
That's all. Just using this chip for research. This board for research. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. One of the downfalls of being a streamer. Right, <coughs> sorry guys, freaking throat. I'll uh, place, the <coughs> place the rest of these manually. I really have got a frog in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to mute myself in a minute and sort it out. Right. <clears throat> Thank you, Antonius. Uh, Antonio. Really appreciate that, mate. I mean, these are, these are the original chips we know already sold out. Oh, yeah, these are um, these are the originals, yeah. Stop it. Yeah, so I'm just going to put one back on because I want to make sure that that's not the cause. I mean, if we kill it, we can always carry on with it tomorrow. Like I said, this is just a quick stream, like hour, hour and a half. I'm not going to waste too much time on it tonight. And if we do kill it, then, you know, this board was unusable anyway. It doesn't really matter. Just trying to separate the stencil from the test. Stop disconnecting. Yeah, so if it does disconnect, it should come back up. I'm wondering if I might have a driver issue. Get off my damn tweezers. I just need to clean my tweezers. Stop it. Damn it. 
Damn it. Right, I'm just going to flow them as they are. I'll put the other ones in afterwards. Computer Beauty says he loves you, Uncle Phil. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I'll flow them as they are and put the rest in afterwards. It's easier. Yeah. Oi! How dare you merge? Or try and merge anyway. You can try all you like, you're not going to work. Oi, I'm jumping off your pads. Right, let's flow that down. Ah, damn it. That wasn't quite solidified. Should be okay, but... Yeah, they generally reform when that happens. I've got one that's about to merge up in this corner here. So I've got to wait for it to solidify so I can move it. Pain in the ass. I'll see you, Bawley. Pain in the ass. Pain in the ass. Get off of my property. But uh, <clears throat> bruh. Right, let me grab this board back.
It's uh, part of the SSD for the PS5, mate. Right, move that out of the way for a second. Get rid of those excess balls. Get off of my property. Uh, let's put this one back. <clears throat> so I'll have to remove this one. I see trees are green, red roses too. I see a soldier board or two. There we go. Phil fixed it till he broke it. Yeah. Right. B4. And after. Ha! This is the original chip going back on for this side of the board. I really hope you don't have to rebuild this bit by bit. Like chip by chip. There we go. <clears throat> Sim racing from Canada. Welcome, mate. Clean your balls. <laughs> well, you don't need to wicked uh, clean off the uh, flux or anything like that when you're putting it back on the board. If you're dropping it straight on, you're not delaying anything. Just Honestly, just drop it on. Don't worry about anything else. Just reboard it. Make sure the balls are all flowed. And drop it on. Really hope this turns on. No. Nope. Wow, what the hell? Well, you know, like me, bro. Or is it too hot? Is it like the SSD chip's too hot? Let's let it cool down. Actually, we've got a little bit of liquid metal there, um, which is spilt out.
So I might, have, I might have managed to replace a whole three chips before I completely killed it. <laughs> Which you gonna suck? No, it's not liquid metal, or at least not on that side. Yeah, I've plugged it in. It's just it's just a constant single beep. Um we might have killed it. Hmm. Let's just give the SSD controller a reflow. Well, I'm going to check the um, APU, make sure we've got no liquid metal, but if not, then let's just give the SSD a reflow. See, we have got liquid metal. Oh, hang on. Uh, has that managed to find its way under? I mean, this board's been off that many times. It really wouldn't surprise me. Like, it's been out of the housing that many times. But then at the same time, it shouldn't find its way under that gasket. No. It's fine. It's not found its way under the gasket. Um. Let's just let's just reflow this chip real quick. The one that I've just put back on because it was at least attempting to turn on before I put this chip back on. Let's just make sure it's not that. That was isopropyl alcohol, what was spluttering out. that don't sort it, I'll try reflowing that SSD controller because that has been replaced and it could have floated it, potentially. And if not, then I don't know. If not, then we'll pick it up tomorrow. Well, I'll carry on with it tomorrow. No, it's gone to a single beep. Right, let's try reflowing that SSD controller. Uh, that chip wasn't installed properly, by the way, because if it was, then it wouldn't have um, it wouldn't have changed the behaviour, and it has. It's just changed it. So, oh, I've knocked my balls over as well. Oh, come on, Gearbench, Thank you. Yeah, hope hope all's well, mate. Just knock my solder balls on the on the side as well. Yay. Right, yeah, let's give this SSD controller a reflow. Make sure we haven't floated that in the process of doing any rework. <coughs> this is the only area we've been working around, so Yeah.
It takes a while to reflow this chip. It is a pretty big chip. Reflow them all. Yeah, I'm live. Really flow them all just to try. Just to give it a try. Why not? Let's see if it boots now. Let's wait for it to settle. Make sure that it's cooled down fully. Leave it to cool for a minute because it is pretty hot in that area, so don't want to cause any damage by applying power to it. There's a cookie mat. Holding up pretty well, mate, yeah. This is my second one. <coughs> yeah, this is my second one, but it holds up pretty well. Having to do a firmware update for your toilet. <laughs> That's a bit shit. <laughs> oh, it's died. It's killed it. No. I managed to do three before it before it killed it. No, two technically. Oh, you suck. You freaking suck. Flip the bird to show you live. <laughs> Rip. Right, I'll carry on with it tomorrow. It's uh, it's two forty six a.m. Uh, oh well, never mind. Any time is good. Yeah, it's two forty six a.m. It's pretty late. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely recommend, mate. Definitely recommend the cookie mat. Never mind. Right, okay. I'm going to leave it there. Um, it's just a quick, just a quick, just a quick stream. Uh, right, I'm going to I'm going to raid computer booter. Uh, got a toilet that washes your butt. Nice. Live and learn, indeed. Well, better look next time. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll take all those chips off and reboard them all again. I don't mind. Uh, right, I'm going to raid computer booter. Thank you all for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Um, firmware installation went quick. The console did exactly the same yesterday, but did not see it since you were on a toilet break. Right, okay. Uh, I'll replay the stream. I'll have a look at that. But yeah, thank you all. Go check computer booter out. Highly recommend it. It was only a quick stream just for a bit of fun. Um, but yeah. I'll see you all tomorrow. Live streaming tomorrow night, same time, same place. Uh, well, 10 p.m. UK time. Um, but yeah, take it easy, guys. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. Good night. Awkward silence while I raid computer booter. And we are three, two, one. Take care, everyone. Good night. <laughs>